Hey guys, Cam here from Pocket Lint, and the OnePlus 8 and 8 Pro are here. Now, OnePlus is known for using lightweight, powerful, and customizable software, and that means there's plenty in it that you can dig into to really affect how this phone works for you. So, we've been living with it for the last couple of weeks, and I've been digging into the software to find a few tips that I think you should try. So, without further ado, let's dive in. Number one, use Alexa as your default assistant. So by default, when you press and hold the sleep wake key, it launches Google Assistant. To change this to Alexa, go to settings, buttons and gestures, and now tap the press and hold the power button option. Tap on voice assistant and now choose Alexa. Our next tip is getting your power button back. So if you'd rather this button was a regular power button instead and don't want it to launch an assistant of any kind, stay within that power button settings menu and now choose power menu instead of voice assistant. Now it'll give you the traditional power down and restart options you're used to seeing. Number three, reverse wireless charging. Now if you want to, you can use your OnePlus 8 Pro to charge another device wirelessly, providing your other device supports Qi wireless charging. Swipe down the quick settings from the top and now find the reverse charge tile. Tap it and then put your phone down on its face and place whatever it is you want to wirelessly charge on the back. Number four, hide the bottom bar. Now as standard, when you first power up your OnePlus 8 Pro, you'll probably have the gesture navigation system switched on, including a bottom bar on the screen showing you where to perform your gestures from. If you want to get rid of it to maximize the use of the screen, go to settings, buttons and gestures, and then navigation bar and gestures. Now toggle the hide bottom bar option and now that bar at the bottom will vanish. Next, enable Quad HD and 120 Hz. Now, unlike some manufacturers, OnePlus lets you enable its full Quad HD plus resolution and 120 Hz frame rates together. So you get maximum sharpness and maximum frame rates. Go to settings, display, advanced, and now choose resolution to select the Quad HD plus option. Once that's done, go back and choose refresh rate and then toggle the 120 Hz option. Number six, enabling motion graphics smoothing. So OnePlus has built in a motion smoothing engine to upscale some lower refresh rates to match its 120 Hertz capabilities in apps like Netflix. To enable it, go to settings, display, and under the video enhancement title, you'll see motion graphics smooth. Select this and toggle it on. I didn't personally notice a huge amount of difference with it enabled, but the option is there for those who want to use it. Now OnePlus has added a hidden space to its software for storing apps securely and privately. You can get to it by tapping the home screen with two fingers and spreading them apart. Now choose any apps you want to hide by tapping the add icon. You can also get to it by opening the app drawer as normal and then swiping right. Plus you can enable a password. Tap the three dots in the corner and choose the enable password option. Scan your fingerprint or enter your password to confirm and now it'll ask you for them every time you try to access that hidden space. Number eight, show your battery percentage. Now, if you want to see your actual battery percentage in the top status bar, head to settings, display, status bar, and now toggle on the show battery percentage toggle, and it'll appear in the status bar. Next is your bedside mode for wireless charging. So the OnePlus 8 Pro has wireless charging and its wireless charging stand is fast, and that means it needs a fan to cool it down. If you want this to be quieter, you can actually switch it to bedtime mode so the noise and whirring stops. It does mean slower charging though. Go to settings, battery, and then bedtime mode, and then toggle it on, or schedule it to go on from a customized time. Moving across to the camera now and shooting macro photos. So your OnePlus 8 Pro can actually take decent macro shots using the ultra wide camera. To use it, open the camera in its regular photo mode and tap on the macro icon, which looks like a little flower. Now you're in super macro mode and you can get much closer to objects to shoot and stay in focus. Next in the camera department is enabling the tripod nightscape mode. Now another cool trick is using the long exposure mode when you're in nightscape. Open your camera, go to camera settings by tapping the settings icon at the top of the screen. Now scroll down to nightscape and toggle tripod long exposure. Now you can mount your phone to a tripod at night and take a long exposure photo for better light capture. It's worth noting this doesn't work when you're holding it in your hands. Obviously, there's too much shake. So if you try it, your image will end up looking really blurry and horrible. Next is using that color filter camera. So OnePlus has added a quite gimmicky color filter camera to the back of the 8 Pro, and we still really haven't figured out a proper use for it. But 
If you want to try it, open the camera in photo mode and tap on the filter icon. Swipe all the way across until you get to Photochrome. Now snap your very own dystopian photos of nature. And lastly is the traditional OnePlus Easter egg. As always, open the calculator, type OnePlus equals, and see what happens. So those have been your tips and tricks. Don't forget to look out for a more extensive in-depth guide, which is similar to this, but with a lot more in it, all written out on pocketlint.com. If you like this video, please do hit that thumbs up. Comment if you want to see more like it or subscribe and you will see more like it. I've been Cam, I'm at Cam Bunton on social media, and I'll see you again soon.